Hi, this is Kat and Gail at Seattle Coffee Gear. Say hi, Gail. Hey, Kat. Um, Gail is going to learn how to use a La Pavoni manual lever espresso machine. Yeah, it's going to be a work in progress. I have the grinder all set up, which we use with the Ranchilio. We don't know if the grind is going to be right or not, but hey, come along for the ride and let's see what happens. So you're just preparing that like you would do a normal yep. machine? Yep. Tamp it down. Uh, should go down you know, quite a ways. You don't want it full right to the top with any of these. You don't really want the coffee touching the uh, brew head screen. It's not good for it. It's not good. So <laughs> this is in reverse. Like, any other, like every other machine, you put it in and you go like this. But no, when we want the boning, it goes just the opposite. So I've never used this before. This is really going to be a work in progress. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it could be just a little bit finer, I think. The, gr the ground should be a little finer than I it think is. so. It's coming out with not great crema. Might have to try it again. All right. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. Hey, this is take two of Gail learning how to use a La Pavoni lever machine. And see, it's right there. The first take, the grind was um, too coarse. It came out too fast with not enough crema. So okay. I took it down a couple of notches on the uh, Ranchilio Rocky Grinder. Let's just try it again. All right. So Gail, is this a steam pressure or a pump pressure espresso machine? Uh, it's, uh, it's a pump and this is the pump, your arm. You are providing the pump pressure versus on these other machines. They have uh, vibrator pumps or um, I forget the other style of pump, but anyway, there's, there's two different pumps that uh, they use in these machines that will um, provide the 15 bars of pressure as you're brewing. But on this machine, it has a boiler. It heats up the water within the boiler, and when you pull this piston up with this, this handle, you pull it up, it sucks the water up in here, and then as you're pulling it down, you're pressing it through. Instead of the pump doing it, your arm, your arm is the pump. Your arm is the pump. Now, now uh, so people complain sometimes that um, steam pressure can burn the coffee, so you don't have, no. you know, uh, any risk of that with these. No. Okay. No. Sure don't. Let's see what happens this time. Okay. Maybe it'll be better than the last time. Let's hope. We'll see. Yeah. Like I said, this is just a new experience for me, so. All right. So you pull this up and it sucks in the hot water. And how long should you hold it up for? Well, I could kind of hear it. I could tell it, I could feel it filling it, and then when it stopped, I could feel that too. I see. Uh, too fine. It's not coming out oh, really wow. now. Oh, wow. Nothing's coming out. Yep, yeah, too fine. Okay. All right. Got to back it up. Take three coming up next. This is the third time to charm, huh, Gal? Yeah, we hope. We took, okay, the first time it was coming out too fast. The second time, so I took the grind down what I thought would be proper, about three notches, and woo woo, nothing came out. <laughs> so that didn't work well. So I brought it back up to a happy medium. Let's see what happens. So it's kind of Goldilocks here, right? You got it. Yeah. 
All right, so so what kind of coffee are we using in that? This is Belton's. This is a local roast. Uh, our local uh, guy here that we, he roasts coffee and is excellent coffee. It's really good. And it's it's <clears throat> called Belton's. And so do you recall what your grind was set at when it was two? two on this machine? Two course. Two course. It was up to number 12. And then I took it down because I thought it was coming out so fast. I took it down to about a number uh, seven. Now we're at about number nine or so. All right. And it still looks pretty fine. Well, I guess we'll see, huh? Yeah, we'll see. So what you guys missed, the excitement you guys missed, is that um, Gail accidentally took the porta filter out when the when the lever was in mid-range. It was under pressure. So it was all powered up and ready to go. And so she, when she took that out, it blew up everywhere. There was coffee grounds everywhere. And um, I, I had to clean it up. <laughs> Not Gail, because she had to talk to a customer, etc. All right, we're going in. Third time. Hopefully, it'll be just right. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? What the hey? Let's see. Still too, well, no, wait a minute. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah, that looks that's beautiful. A lot better. I think we've got it, Kat. Look at that gorgeous shot. It's like all crema. What do you think, though? Do you think it's still a little too fine? No, you know, I would have to actually time it, but it, I don't know, it seemed pretty good. How about you taste one? I can do that. Look at that. Not bad. Looks pretty mm, good. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Tastes good, too. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I want to try so, so, so you've just seen Gail learn yeah. and use and show you how to use. The La Pavoni. I would probably take a timer and just try it to make sure that uh, we're at where, where we should be as far as the time goes for pulling the shot, but it looked a lot better than the other two. Do you want to go again? No, I think we're good. Okay. Bye. Say goodbye. All right, we lied, and actually we're going to try a fourth time because Gail wanted to, uh, I don't know, get I wanted a little to find fancy. It, I wanted to take it a little, just a tad finer to see what it was going to do. And by the way, you won't have to have any kind of a, a subscription to a gym. Pulling this baby is it. Yeah. This is your workout for the day. Work on your biceps. That's it. Absolutely. It's, it's very rewarding, I'm finding. You could, you could use this for a while, and then you could totally do your own version of Sylvester Stallone and over the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's Are you me. ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we moved the grinder down. Last time we had it at eight nine. Now she moved it to an eight to see if we could slow it down a little bit and improve the crema. So just so you know, these uh, shot glasses are ounce and a half. So we're kind of looking at uh, up to the line. It's an ounce and a half. Yeah, up to the line's an ounce and a half. So we're kind of looking at you know. Oh, look at that. Mid range ish fill on each of them. Nice crema. Looks nice. <laughs> it does. It looks really good. Really good. Now I think that's even better. Mm -hmm. That's the way it should be. Yeah. And, and look at the. Look at that. That looks really nice. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. You want to do the taste test? I want to try it. Absolutely. All wow. right. Oh, that is good. Yeah? Yeah, it's really smooth. So we found it. We got it. Here All right, maybe maybe yeah, next yeah. time. Here you go. <laughs> maybe next time yeah. we'll show you how to steam milk on this. You betcha.